This is a cladded fence in progress. This is the frame. And there's a cyclone or a chain link fence under it. It's already existing and it already has posts. There you can see there's this H beam here. It's at an angle because the yard to the right here is higher than the yard that I'm standing in. And over time, the posts all rolled. That one there has rolled seven and a half degrees. And you can see that I've created a wedge, a seven and a half degree wedge, and I screwed it in and I attached another two by four to the wedge. And then to mate the two by four to the top, I, I needed something as wide as two two by fours so it can set on a shelf there. So I can go screw onto the top there. And this one here is also seven and a half degrees stick out from the fence unless I cut it off. This one was only four and a half degrees, not quite so bad. Uh, so I needed a narrower wedge. And at the end here, this one's only a couple of degrees, but it is at an angle. And I used regular straps here with some 5 16 inch carriage bolts. I use these gussets down here. You can see them underneath there. I use these gussets to support the laterals. And I, I make all the gussets at one time so that they look similar. Although this is all gonna be covered up with fence boards. These last two needed to be new posts in concrete. And I needed those to line up with everything else. So I made everything else first, and then uh, used additional two by fours on top to line everything out. And so the next step is going to be to add fence boards to this, and then it's gonna look like a regular fence. I left the top smooth so that if at a later time they wanna put lattices on top, it'll be very easy to add lattices to this fence. Um, and in any case, it is not very hard to build a flat top. It does have some aesthetic benefits too. And it protects the end grain of the posts so that rain doesn't land on them so that they won't rot.